It is 841. Go on. Squeal. Squeal. We well, yeah, check in with Jeff from Shenandoah Riverkeeper. It's the Friday Shenandoah River Report. If you're planning on hanging out on the river, don't miss our reports. And, of course, uh, download the podcast. You can also link up with Shenandoah Riverkeeper by logging on to the river 953online.com. Jeff, how you doing this morning? Doing good, Randy. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Ready for a nice, sunny, hot weekend. My, my time of year. Yeah, I can't believe there wasn't any, even any rain forecast. No, none at all. I, the nearest rain I see is, is Tuesday. So everybody enjoy the sunshine. Get out uh, on the Shenandoah River. And uh, by your posting, Jeff, some uh, fun facts today about the Shenandoah River. Stuff I didn't didn't know. Yeah, I get, I get a lot of questions from, you know, moms and dads and families. And they want to, they, first they want to know how, you know, how long is the Shenandoah. Sometimes they ask me where it starts. Um, and then, you know, of course, yeah, I get those. It's safe to use. And where can I go use it? And, I thought maybe we'd talk about the first couple questions today, a little sure. bit facts about the river. Absolutely. Do you, think, do you think people have a sense for where, where the river starts and how long it is? Uh, I, well, I, I, well, of course, I cheated, so I can't. <laughs> <laughs> now, before I cheated and looked for the post, I, you know, I, would, I wouldn't have known. Um, I know um, about the South Fork and the North Fork, and I know that the Shenandoah, being, being a West Virginian, I know that the Shenandoah meets up with the Potomac at Harper's Ferry. But yeah. uh, um, okay. as far as the length and all of that, I... I I would have failed that test miserably, I yeah, think. Yeah, but I think you got a B or B plus on the first part. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, there's, people, a lot of people don't realize that there's both a North Fork and a South Fork. And, and the North Fork is a, is a river that not many people use. It runs mostly through private land. It starts over by Timberville. It actually starts on, in a gap called Brock's Gap um, near, uh, to the west of Timberville in the uh, Allegheny Range, and it runs about 100 miles. And it kind of zigzags back and forth on the west side of the Massanutten Mountain Range and then it, until it reaches Front Royal. So it's a little more than 100 miles long, and it actually is formed when the German River and the Little Dry River meet. So it, does, it doesn't form at a spring in the ground like a lot of people imagine. It's the confluence of two rivers. The, um, the South Fork, which is one that we, most people know because it's where the canoe liveries are, it's where most people go canoeing or fishing or swimming, that starts in Port Republic, which is about 10 miles to the south east of Harrisonburg and it flows between the Macedon Mountain and the Shenandoah National Park or the Blue Ridge and it's a uh, it's about 100 miles long too and then it flows to Front Royal the North Fork and South Fork join together in Front Royal and uh, form the main stem Shenandoah which then flows north through a little bit of Warren County and all the way through Clark County and then through Jefferson County West Virginia to Harpers Ferry and it's about 55 miles long Wow, that's at least longer than I thought it would be. And uh, yeah. uh, uh, something else that kind of surprised me, too, that it, uh, the, the Shenandoah River system uh, actually drains about 3,000 miles of land. Yeah, it's a massive land drainage. The Shenandoah Valley is a little bit bigger, what we call the Shenandoah Valley, which actually goes to Roanoke. But the part that drains into the river comes from Augusta County, as far south as Augusta County, and flows north and uh, drains about 3,000 miles. And I haven't added up all the stream miles, and I, maybe I'll do that for a show, but I think there's thousands of miles of permanent streams and probably some more thousands of miles of intermittent streams that you know only flow when it rains well as, as we like to say it is our most treasured resource here in in the valley and maybe a little more massive and long than, than people thought so um kids i hope you're taking notes because uh, there'll be a quiz later on this <laughs> afternoon tons of places to explore yeah, absolutely. Uh, anything specific jeff you want to highlight in terms of events i know um you have some coming up uh, very soon but uh, yeah. what about this weekend anything going on you know, there were a lot of graduations going on this week. Right. I suspect a lot of people are going to go out on their own in the river. There are no river events that I know of yet or nobody, that nobody's you know, made me aware of. Uh, next weekend, we have the Riverside Festival at Watermelon Park that we talk, talked about a little bit last week. And you can find it on the web. If you, if you uh, Google Riverside Festival, Watermelon Park, it'll come up. Um, and that's a, you know, two days of music and camping on the banks of the river. And we'll, you know, I can probably give you a pretty detailed uh, report next week about that. All right, well, let's let's do it. Um, uh, you, and you mentioned graduations and things like that, so it bodes saying that uh, everybody out there on the river this weekend, be safe, do the right things, don't overindulge, and um, by all means, you do not want to play around with the river, as Burt Reynolds might say in Deliverance. <laughs> yeah, she's in great shape, but go be safe. Yeah, all right, Jeff, thank you very much. Uh, enjoyed the show today. We'll uh, do it again on Monday. Very good. Thanks, Randy. There's Jeff, Shenandoah Riverkeeper, and he will join us again Monday at 840. Don't uh, forget, we'll repeat that show with Lonnie this afternoon, and then 
You can download the podcast at your leisure at theriver953online.com, and you can link up with Shenandoah Riverkeeper at our website, theriver953online.com. The great Marvin Gaye as we start wrapping up the show. What's going on here on the River 95.3? 